culture and every theology, you have some form of belief in the angels, right? In Judeo-Christian thought, you have a belief in, in the angels as being a... a Baby, you can call me a Superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day, and we've been able to do that thanks to you guys because you give us things to react to non stop. And we are very, very appreciative. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs. Let us know if you want to see any challenge, tags, pranks, anything, anything fun you want to see, we'll do it for you guys. We have a pay, we have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we've got some amazing conversations there. You can find us on Podbean, iTunes spotify and this channel as well but then if you want to see the video to our conversations or our podcast you can head to our second youtube channel funny and jc 2.0 and just enjoy the content that we're putting out we've got a patreon called um funny and jesse you guys can feel free to become members and we'll surely appreciate uh, before I get into anything today, I would like to ask you guys to check out my new blog, uh, Morning Coffee with Funny. I was posting for at least six days and you guys can just check out the content that's there. And let me know what you think about the what I've posted. I mean, it's fun, yeah. And just enjoy the positivity that will come with the podcast, uh, not podcast, but the blog. And yeah, so if you like to read, make sure to follow me on uh, Instagram, so funny, oh, I post short poems you can check out my wordpress blog called blue where i post stories and um poems and my second blog called morning coffee with funny where it's just going to be all positive or encourage just to encourage someone just to put a smile on someone's face no stories no nothing just something positive that i want to do i want to just uh focus on that for now and we'll see where the wind blows us so a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Thank you very much. We appreciate this suggestion. A big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing. You guys are the best. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving us things to react to. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and thank you for sharing our work. You guys are the best. I hope you're having a good day or may you have a good day and stay blessed. So today as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to what sound did prophet, what sound did prophet hear while going to Isra and Mirage? Yes, sir, Kadi. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So when we're talking about the angels, the Prophet ﷺ was asked particularly on the night of Al-Isra wal Mi'raj. You know, there were some people that questioned that journey, how he made that journey. There are some people that just wanted to know what it was like. And a group of companions came to the Prophet ﷺ and they asked the Messenger وسلم, what did it sound like? You know, what did you see and what did it sound like? I mean, as you're traveling through these galaxies with rapid speed, what is it that you heard out there? And the Messenger وسلم, <clears throat> he says, Inni ara ma la taron. He says, look, I see things that you are incapable of seeing. Wa asma'u ma la tasma'un. And I hear things that you are incapable of hearing. He says, inna sama'a attat. Said the heavens are creaking. Attat means they are shaking violently. And there's a reason why the sound of it is like it's shaking violently. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, because there isn't a space of four fingers, except that there is an angel that, is, that has been created in prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is doing nothing but declaring his praises. So he described the sound of vibration. Okay, I want you just to listen quickly to what it sounds like in outer space. NASA actually had a recording from outer, outer space they put up 16 years ago, right before the turn of the millennium. And the name of the research was, Our Universe is Not Silence. Because there was this idea that if you went out to outer space, you wouldn't hear anything except for the moving objects. Just listen to what it sounds like in outer space. Obviously, 
you know, that's good enough. You guys can't hear everything. Um, but if you get a chance to listen to it, it's actually quite breathtaking. And actually one of the researchers who published that research said that it sounds like a billion men doing Gregorian chants all simultaneously at the same time. SubhanAllah. When I heard that, I remember this hadith of the Messenger SallAllahu Look, I see things that you don't see. And I hear things that you don't hear. And that's a sign of hope for us as well, because we're always paranoid about jinn being everywhere and shayateen being everywhere. The number of angels compared to the number of jinn is dramatically different. There's a huge difference between how many angels there are, are out there and how many jinn and devils there are out there. So this is a magnificent creation, the malaika, they, you know, belief in them is the second pillar of our faith. And subhanAllah, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he says the reason why it's the second pillar of our faith is because of Jibreel alayhi salam. Because the only reason, for example, we don't necessarily have, well, we have to believe in the jinn, but it's not necessarily a pillar of faith, right? Can you be a believer without believing in the jinn? No, you can't. It's in the Quran, Surah Al-Jinn. But it's not a separate category of the pillars of faith. The reason being that all of the pillars of faith have to do with the integrity of the message. And so the reason why a pillar of faith, there's a separate pillar of faith, of belief in the Malaika is because of this angel Jibreel alayhi salam that brings the message to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So it clarifies the integrity of the Messenger to the Messenger, which helps us fully appreciate this message as well. And obviously, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us many things about these angels. And the thing is, is that it's in every culture and every theology, you have some form of belief in the angels, right? In Judeo-Christian thought, you have a belief in, in the angels as being a, a, cre a creation that you know, can make mistakes, they've been reduced to fallibility, they can fall. So you have a concept of dark angels, Lucifer, the devil. And in fact, they don't actually separately believe in a category of jinn. They're simply demons and dark angels. So they do have that category, they do have that belief. And within Christianity, you'll find many different beliefs about who the specific angels are and what their roles are. So for example, in Mormonism, Gabriel is Nuh salam. He's actually Noah, right? So you'll find different beliefs as to who they are within Christianity and within Judaism. You'll find that in Judeo-Christian thought as well, the angels are created from fire. Whereas the Prophet told us they're created from what? From light. And that excludes all forms of impurity. And as suyuti rahimahullah says, Allah chose to create them from the most beautiful creation, which is light, because that is, the, that is what He chose to create His hijab from, His veil. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah speaks from behind a veil of light. So it's the most beautiful creation and it excludes all forms of impurity. And it's a testimony to their infallibility. Now, do they have physical presences as well? Do they have a physical presence or are they just light? Right? They do have a physical presence. And they have a, a pretty dominating physical presence. Right? And you know, a lot of times when you see portrayals of angels, because again, you'll find them even in, in, in the thought of Confucius, there's a belief in angels. Even the pagans of Mecca believed in angels, but they called them what? Banatul Rahman, the daughters of the most merciful. So if you looked up a Wikipedia entry of Gabriel, for example, and you saw the portrayal, Right, and you see the portrayal of most angels in, in, you know, in drawings and in sculpture, you'll find that they look like babies in diapers. Right? They're very weak, small creatures. Right? Whereas the portrayal that we find in our religion is that this is a strong creation, a huge creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that do as they are commanded, that exclude all forms of fault, all forms of flaw, all forms of impurity. Just as we testify that the messengers of God, all of them, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, Moses, David, peace be upon them all, just as we testify that they are all infallible and that they do not commit those, those mistakes, the angels as well are completely infallible and do not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with anything that's been given to them. As Allah tells us in the Quran, لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمنون that they do not disobey a single command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do exactly as they are told. Very interesting um, video. Thank you for the person that suggested this. They actually suggested this because of the uh, night trip, uh, night trip Muhammad 
uh, took and they were just gi giving me this video so that it sheds more light on certain things and I really really appreciate this was nice to listen to I always like reacting to things that are different not just um, the same things throughout this is shedding light this is something that you enjoy learning it's like a history class uh, providing you with information that maybe you've never come across and you're, you're not aware of so thank you for suggesting this it's always uh, good to learn it's always good to uh, react to something that's new and is allowing you to learn so thank you for suggesting this otherwise i really don't have anything to say about this it was a very very beautiful video and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well if there's something that stood out for you guys and would like to talk about it let us know in the comment section below and we'll appreciate the feedback um make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video